Kia ora, Carla. Kia ora. No, mai. Hara mai. Welcome to the Fano Living Fano. You've always been a DIY girl. I've always been a DIY girl. Right. So I grew up around tools all my life, and so I'm quite familiar with them. But actually, on site and building, I've been building for about three years now. Koe kai koe. Good on you. Ya tau e fai fa karo ana ki wau na mahi ki kone. So what are you going to be doing for us with the Fano Living Fano? Okay, so we're going to be doing some basic DIY projects and anything that needs to be fixed around the house, but something that's still simple and easy enough for you to do yourself. Karawe te neoha. I'm so excited that you're going to come and help us do these things. So what are we going to start with today? So first we need to start with three basic toolkits: one with basic hand tools, one with product, and one with heavy duty tools. Karawe te ne, we get to buy stuff. That's what I like. Yes, <laughs> shopping. Ka tono mea, ka mina mea rane, or we ask for our friends' stuff. Kai a mato te tahi kete paraha. We do have a toolkit, and sometimes it comes out. And I know what a couple of these are. For instance, penerako that goes here. Met the ine. I know how what you do with that. You measure stuff. What are these? Once you've hammered your nail in and you want to set it a little bit deeper, you use your hammer ah, okay. and your nail punch. Bang, bang, pow, 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 and then you'll set your nail back. Core witty, the screwdrivers. So generally you've got a flat head screwdriver, square head and a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, me tu pato kitene maripine. So we have to be a bit careful with this. He pao. It's quite nice and weighty here with taumahato nu. So it needs to be well balanced and well weighted. Momo kane hoki tene? Is this like a little saw? That is a jib saw. You'll use that if you make a hole in your wall and you need to replace and repair your jib. E rua ngā momo kane, e kane nui hoki. Why do we need these two different ones? For the tenon saw, you're doing a little more detailed work. Mm -hmm. So maybe some finer joinery. This is basically an in-between saw, so it does a little bit of both sides. Ha te utu mo wene paraha katoa. And so what's the price for all of these tools we've just looked at? Spread it out a little bit each week. Five. $20, $30, and by the end of, I would say, five or six weeks, you'll have your toolkit. Oh, and it will pay for itself. That's it. Because I don't have to go. Ka kore au e wai atu, ki te kaumahi, I don't have to try and find a tradie. Te kete tu a rua me ki. So this is our second little kit that we need. Yes, it is. What is contract filler? Any holes, any cracks that need filling and you want to do a nice smooth paint over finish, that's what you use. A mohi o ke au hea tene, I know this is sandpaper. Sandpaper comes in different grit sizes, so the higher the number, the finer it is. Matakahi we nene, so we've got some little wedges. Once you've done your project and things don't quite fit right, place a wedge in between just to make things a little bit tighter. And if you've got a sore throat, then you just... <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but this is for when you're finishing off your silicones. You can use either the ice block stick or one of these scraping pads here, oh, and you'll okay. have a nice even bead. I feel like we've notched things up a level with this kit there. Yes, this is our heavy duty kit. It's because they're hetaumahanga makato, because they are all heavy. That's right, and it helps you try and identify which tools need to go into which bag. I know this is a crescent, and we need two sizes. Well, it's just easier if you come across something that you need something smaller so you can fit. Hey, Piwarira, well, it's just like so cute. So cute, I know. It's the world's smallest problem. I'm going to have a nonga kiwene ne. These are kind of related, are they? This is a socket wrench. Ooh. So we've got clamps. Yes. Crowbar. I leave this in my toolbox. Yeah. It comes in handy, especially with demolition. Two different types of pliers, are they? One specifically for cutting, and these are for grabbing and cutting. The paraha fakamutunga. So this one. This is a wood planer. You don't necessarily need one. At the end of the day, you have sandpaper to use until you think you're at a skill level where you'll need one of these. You know, just even holding a paraha makes you want to make something. <laughs> you want to get into it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Rika rika katoa. I'm all set, all ready. Any moment now, but meantime, we should probably have a cup of tea. Yes, please. Thank you. Haramai.